Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the Super Mario Bros plumbing van from the movie, The Super Mario Bros Movie. Here are all of the materials that we will need to make the van. Begin by placing a grey concrete on the ground, and then place a polished blackstone slab in front of the upper half of the grey concrete. Extend to the right by two, one, two. Then extend backwards by one using a grey concrete. Then place three more slabs, one, two, three. Then a grey concrete, and then another slab. Extend across the back of the build by two. One, two. Extend forwards by placing a grey concrete, and then place three blackstone slabs to extend back and connect to where we first started. Fill the base of the van in using polished blackstone slabs, and there we go. Next, we want to place stone buttons on the sides of the wheels. We now want to determine which side is the front of our van. It can be this side or the opposite. This is the front of my van. On the front middle block, place a furnace and a yellow concrete left and right of it. Extend the yellow concrete backwards and across the frame of the van, like this. We then want to place light grey stained glass pane across the front of the van, left to right. Place a light grey stained glass behind the ends of the row, and then place yellow concrete extending backwards along the long sides of the van. Then place a light grey stained glass right in the centre, like this. We then want to place a layer of yellow carpet on top of the glass pane, like this, yellow concrete above and behind this on top of the glass blocks, and then we want to fill the rest of the top of the van in using yellow concrete, like so. On the sides of the van, at the front and the back, we want to place acacia buttons. Next, we want to use our dark oak signs and place them hanging off of the blackstone slabs at the front and the back of the van. Then, on the front of the van, we want to place glow item frames in front of the yellow concrete blocks left and right of the furnace, glass pane inside of those, and then a ladder in front of the furnace. Then, on the side of the van, we want to place a trip wire hook in this position, then three dark oak signs extending backwards in between the tripwire hook and the acacia button. And we want the exact same thing on the opposite side. One, two, three, and then a tripwire hook, like this. On the back of the van, we also want to place a polished blackstone button just underneath this window. On top of the van, we want to place a series of stone brick wall that starts on this side of the van specifically, here at the front on top, extends backwards one, two, three blocks like so. Then on the opposite side we want to use red never brick wall, and we want to place a row that is simply one row longer, like this. You can even have it so that the red never brick wall extends to the back and the stone brick wall extends just like this. You could even add an additional row of wall in the middle, but I just don't quite like how it looks, but that's completely up to you. I would prefer to keep these separate. Next, we want to add some brake lights to the van. To do that, we throw down a loom, open it up, place a red banner in there with some orange dye, and add the orange fess pattern. Grab that, put that back in, place some black dye in there, add the black bourgeois pattern, Grab that, place that in the inventory, and we then want to apply this to the left and right sides of the van, just left and right of the black zone button. We also have to make two specialised banners for the sides of the van as well. So, open up your loom and place a black banner in here. We then want to add 
some white dye and apply the white board draw pattern. Grab that, put that back in, place some orange dye in there, and we then want to place the orange perfess inverted pattern. Grab that, put that back in. We then want to add black dye and the flower charge pattern, and we want to apply it to the banner. Next, we want to place orange dye in there and apply the orange roundel pattern. Grab that, put that back in. We then want to add red dye and place the red chief pattern. Grab that, put that back in, add some blue dye, and then we want to add the blue base indented pattern. Grab that, add that to your inventory. So next, we are going to make pretty much the exact same banner once again, except instead of red dye, we are going to use lime dye. So open up your loom, place your black banner in there with white dye and add the white bourgeois pattern. Grab that, put that in with some orange dye, and then we want to add the orange perfess inverted pattern. Grab that, put that in. We then want to add black dye with the flower charge pattern Grab that, put that back in, remove the pattern, and then throw orange dye back in there and apply the orange roundel pattern. Grab that, put that back in, apply lime dye, and add the lime chief pattern. Grab the banner, put it back in for a final time with blue dye, and apply the blue base indented pattern. So that will give us both of our banners. And on this side of the van specifically, not at the top corner of the van, but one row inwards, we want to apply the Mario banner, and then a birch sign next to it that basically says, literally written like this, super, next line, Mario Bros, period, next line, plumbing. There we go. Easy as that. And now we want to, on the opposite side over here, in the same position, place the Luigi banner, birch sign next to it, Super Mario Bros, period, and then plumbing. As simple as that. If you want to make the van look a little bit more mysterious, my recommendation would be to add some black concrete inside of it, so that it kind of just blacks out the inside. I think that that looks pretty good. And if you want something that looks a little bit creepy, then you can even apply the Mario banner kind of like inside of the driver's position. And I think, <laughs> we, I don't know if we'll keep that. And that's it guys. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please do remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to check out any one of the numerous Mario builds that I have behind me in the background. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Good bye.